Now you're trying to tell me you don't get my socks in that? <laughs> oh, you bet you do. I'm gonna go. What's wrong with your socks? Oh, God, look at them. Look what I did. <laughs> look what I did. <laughs> I mean. Dennis, we're sitting here laughing <laughs> like we were doing an ad for GQ or something. <laughs> You're all concerned about your shirt and your socks not matching. No, I just. But, uh, uh, you know, that's the fashion statement what, these days. Do your own thing. wear things that don't match, right? <laughs> Anyway, it's good to see you, Dennis, Thank you. and to be able to talk with you about the package. I'm wondering when people just kind of run into you someplace, uh, do they know instantly who you are, or do they get all you know shook up about? It, it happens in uh, different ways. Sometimes people, uh, I can sense when they immediately recognize, and, and they're open about it. Sometimes they're suspicious. They'll look and they will say, I, "I know you, like I, like I'm their neighbor, or I fixed their car, or somebody." Um, and, and, but it's always flattering, you know, and then, then usually when they do recognize, when they remember. Uh, my favorites are the ones who, who will look and they say, you know, let me tell you, you look just like that guy on Hill Street Blues. And I said, yeah, yeah, I have been told that. And uh, they say, well, you're not, are you? I say, yeah, I am. Say, no, you're not. I say, yeah, I am. And then we get into the reverse. I say, yeah, I am. They say, no, you're not. I say, all right, I'm not. What do you want me to say? <laughs> <laughs> it's just that they don't expect to see you where they see you, I imagine. Yeah, usually. I mean, in Los Angeles, uh, they see you everywhere. But uh, when you're in different cities, yes, you're right. They don't expect to see you there. So what are you doing here? When you were approached about playing this role, mm -hmm. uh, what was your immediate reaction? Another cop or? Uh, honestly, yes. Honestly, it was one of, oh, boy. Um, uh, finally, a chance to play a Chicago policeman. Wow. Uh, no, but uh, then I, I saw the material. I heard that uh, uh, Gene Hackman was the star of it, and, I, and th th that is a dream in itself. And secondly, it was um, the director, Andrew Davis, is a friend of mine who uh, I was in a movie that he had directed. I think it was his first movie in the, end, in the late 70s called Stony Island back in Chicago. And uh, we've, we've remained friends over the years, and so uh, it was always one of these things, well, when the opportunity arises, it would be nice to work again. So this was the first opportunity. And uh, those two factors, the fa the, 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 it's a good script. I read the script, and I thought, gee, it's really a, a good script, and the part is a nice part, even in spite of the fact that he is a, another cop character. And I've got all these wonderful scenes with Gene Hackman, who is my idol, so why not? What is it like when you're actually in a scene with Gene Hackman, a man you admire so yeah. much? It's, it, it really is hard to, to push that aside and just say, don't, you know, don't show any reverence here. He doesn't want it. He doesn't expect it. He, he's here to work, and he expects the same from you. So when I, when I get over that hurdle, and, and, uh, which, which he made me feel very comfortable, I had, I had met Gene Hackman twice before this, just on social gatherings. Uh, so it wasn't like I hadn't met him before, but actually working with him, this was the first opportunity. And once we got over that first step, and he made me feel very comfortable and, and creative and that my input was valued, um, it, uh, it became a, a, a very easy thing that I looked forward to doing on a daily basis. You know, and, I, and I loved to see his mind work. I loved to see him think about things and, and maybe changing stuff. And, and I like to see him. Uh, I like to see him when he was working. I, I liked working with him. I liked his delivery and, and his response to what I was saying. It seems to me that the thing about Gene Hackman that impresses me is, seemingly he's doing not much, and yet he's doing everything. That's the trick of it, isn't it? I mean, I think that is the trick that he is. He has learned and he's teaching others and uh, others of us who are fortunate to have this opportunity to work with him. Um, I've, I've learned, it's something that I've suspected all along, that less is more. And, but not less with nothingness. There's something going on there. You know, you're, you're watching a person think. You're watching his mind work. And that's different than just a blank face. Um, and his mind is always working. And when he speaks, and when he does something, it's entirely honest, and he expects the same in return. And, and from watching that honesty and delivery, it's kind of an easy thing for you to do to give him a, an equally honest response rather than an affected one or something bigger than life. If somebody's talking to you on a, on, a, on a level down here, 
you, you, you see yourself talking up here if you do. So uh, it, was a, it was a great lesson. So what is next for you? More television or what? I don't know. I'm, uh, right now there's two film scripts that I'm looking at and, uh, and I'd like to do another series. Um, it depends on whichever works out first. I suspect that it's going to be a, a, another movie that's coming up. And, uh, and then maybe next year uh, another series. Maybe. I don't know. I, w I would be happy if I could have a, a steady film career. You know, that would be ideal. What do, uh, what kind of feedback do you get from police officers about your portrayals? I, I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever gotten any negative feedback. I think um, wherever I travel, wherever we go, um, open arms from the police department and uh, they seem to relate to this character that I played on the show as somebody that they have in their department or would like to be like or are like, you know. It's always a positive feedback that I get. That's a great compliment It to certainly you. is, and I have the best of friends in every city that I could go to, <laughs> which is the police department. You're never going to have to pay, pay a traffic fine. Well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have paid one. I have. <laughs> okay. Dennis, you're fun to talk with, Thanks. and I enjoyed your performance so very much Thank in this you, picture. Bobby. I hope it does well for you. It's a real thriller. Good. Thank you. I hope so, too. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no immunity, huh? No immunity. <laughs>
a good script, and the part is a nice part, even in spite of the fact that he is a, another cop character. And I've got all these wonderful scenes with Gene Hackman, who is my idol, so why not? What is it like when you're actually in a scene with Gene Hackman, a man you admire so yeah. much? It's, it, it really is hard to, to push that aside and just say, don't, you know, don't show any reverence here. He doesn't want it. He doesn't expect it. He, he's here to work, and he expects the same from you. So when I, when I get over that hurdle, and, and, uh, which, which he made me feel very comfortable. I had, I had met Gene Hackman twice before this, just on social gatherings. Uh, so it wasn't like I hadn't met him before, but actually working with him, this was the first opportunity. And once we got over that first step, and he made me feel very comfortable and, and creative, and that my input was valued, um, it, uh, it became a, a, a very easy thing that I looked forward to doing on a daily basis. You know, and, I, and I loved to see his mind work. I loved to see him think about things and, and maybe changing stuff. And, and I liked to see him uh, I liked to see him when he was working. I liked working with him. I liked his delivery and, and his response to what I was saying. It seems to me that the thing about Gene Hackman that impresses me is seemingly he's doing not much and yet he's doing everything. That's the trick of it, isn't it? I mean, I think that is the trick that he, is, he has learned and he's teaching others and uh, others of us who are fortunate to have this opportunity to work with him. Um, I've, I've learned, it's something that I've suspected all along, that less is more. And, but not less with nothingness. There's something going on there. You know, you're, you're watching a person think. You're watching his mind work. And that's different than just a blank face. Um, and his mind is always working, and when he speaks, and when he does something, it's entirely honest, and he expects the same in return. And, and from watching that honesty and delivery, it's kind of an easy thing for you to do to give him a, an equally honest response rather than an affected one or something bigger than life. If somebody's talking to you on a, on a, on a level down here, you, you, you see yourself talking up here if you do. So uh, it, was a, it was a great lesson. So what is next for you? More television or what? I don't know. I'm, uh, right now there's two film scripts that I'm looking at and, uh, and I'd like to do another series. Um, it depends on whichever works out first. I suspect that it's going to be a, a, another movie that's coming up. And, uh, and then maybe next year uh, another series. Maybe. I don't know. I, w I would be happy if I could have a, a steady film career. You know, that would be ideal. What do, uh, what kind of feedback do you get from police officers about your portrayals? I, I can honestly say, I, I don't think I've ever gotten any negative feedback. I think um, wherever I travel, wherever we go, um, open arms from the police department and uh, they seem to relate to this character that I played on the show as somebody that they have in their department or would like to be like or are like, you know. It's always a positive feedback that I get. That's a great compliment. It to certainly you. is, and I have the best of friends in every city that I could go to, <laughs> which is the police department. You're never going to have to pay, pay a traffic fine. Well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have paid. I have. <laughs> okay, Dennis, you're fun to talk with, Thanks. and I enjoyed your performance so very much in Thank this you, picture. Bobby. I hope it does well for you. It's a real thriller. Good. Thank you. I hope so too. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. No immunity, huh? No immunity. <laughs>